Hello, I'm a nostalgia. Hey, Greg. I remember it, so you don't have to. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I hate the Flintstones. I fucking hate the Flintstones. I mean, okay, I sort of respect it for being the first weekly animated show in primetime. That's pretty impressive. But the animation is bad, the jokes are cheap, the stories are forgettable, and the characters just aren't that interesting. They're boring as hell. The only cool thing about it was those household appliances that were used for prehistoric animals. That was it. Time for enough lamer gimmicks to base a movie on. From the genius director who brought you the awkward comedy of Jingle All The Way, the Flintstones movie I guess in some ways is a perfect movie adaptation of the show. I mean think about it, it's just as bland, cheesy, and pointless as the original, so I guess it did its job. The only problem is that job was sucking! So, let's take a look at the Flintstones live action movie. You poor fucking saps. The movie begins with a pun using the word rock. Yeah, this is a Flintstones product, alright. We see the prehistoric <laughs> business of Slate and Company as led by their boss named Cliff. Long Yes, that is the guy from David Lynch's Dune. And joining him is Halle Berry, in yet another role she'll regret after winning an Oscar. <laughs> right now, I have a vision of you and me dripping with coconut oil on a beach in Rocapulco with Mr. Slate's fortune to keep us company. Sounds like a typical visual from Twin Peaks. <laughs> but no time for that. We have the Flintstones opening to reenact. <laughs> This reenactment of a scene everybody recognizes from the original goddamn show? Well, get used to it. Get really fucking used to it. Yeah, that. Oh, oh, universe shell? It's like universe soul, except they put shell because they have shells back in the Stone Age. Yeah, fuck this. Wait a minute. That fucking poster said we were seeing Tar Wars. I want to see Tar Wars. Tar I don't care if it's even just two Wars. people drowning each other. It's got to be more entertaining than this. So we see Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble, played by John Goodman and Rick Moranis. Oh, Barney is excited oh, because Dan Fred Connor is along, and and and, and, and Bob and, and, and Bob from the Bob and Doug show. This will be a good daddy, Fred. Well, you're bound to find something you're good at. Yeah, sure. Hey. <laughs> soullessness of that scene was really quite astounding. <laughs> so Fred goes home to his family. Wilma, played by Elizabeth Perkins, a CG Dino, and I swear to God, one of the Olsen twins. <laughs> <laughs> one of the Olsen twins. So Fred no. confesses to Wilma no. that he took some money That's out to help her. The school, Olsen it turns twins. out, is very proud of him. Oh, that was funny. is the sweetest, most generous thing I ever heard. But... Okay. This will be one of the many scenes that goes totally nowhere. Of course. Of course. Oh, for God's sake, that's not the set. It's the Happy Meal toys on display. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Rosie O'Donnell should not be the live-action version of Betty. That's incredible. I mean, it's like, boom, nothing in common. <laughs> Instant missing of the idea. Quite outstanding, actually. <laughs> so they adopt a kid that looks like... Oddly enough, a real caveman, and decide to clean him up and make him look like Jake Lloyd. Jake Lloyd. Not in keeping with the cartoon, the kid is stronger than life, and they end up calling him Bam Bam. Jake. Yeah, he... What an arm! You know these scenes are so rushed. I keep expecting <laughs> a commercial logo to pop up in the corner. <laughs> so they go ahead and recreate the bowling scenes from the show. It's not funny, but I'm sure they felt like they had to. As Barney reads a poem that he's written about his best friend, Fred. Since I was just a lad of ten, I've had the very bestest friend. But for my friend, the special part is what's behind his ribs. His heart. Come on, say Jules' poetry for later. That was beautiful, Ron. I meant every word, but... You're gonna drive me in a cold one? Come on, Bond. Let's celebrate with a Winston cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> 
So he comes home only to find that Willa's angry mother is there, played by Elizabeth Taylor. He robs your nest egg to bail out that little troll next door. Why, my daughter has to wash her clothes in the river. Who does want to accept the fact that she was once Cleopatra and now she's in the fence? <laughs> well, I suppose it can work backwards, too. <laughs> yeah. So after another, oh, two minutes of a scene that doesn't go anywhere, of we come to the next day where their boss, Cliff, has an exciting announcement. Today. I am here to formally announce the creation of Slate and Company's Executive Placement Program. Hold your questions, please. A monkey. A monkey. monkey. <laughs> An aptitude test will be given, granting one of you monkey. the opportunity to crawl yeah. out of the primordial ooze and be somebody. A vice president at Slate and Company. Ah, uh, yes. I remember when my boss and my old job used to come down and spontaneously offer the vice presidency to one of the lower class. Unfortunately, I didn't get it. But I showed him. <laughs> Good luck, and may the best biped win. <laughs> I'm gonna throw him, but okay. And exactly, this is my chance to be someone. Be someone.
Hey, Fred, there's just one thing I gotta know. After all these years, how come they're canon? You got the lowest score, pal. So yeah, Barney finds out that he's a total fuck up for not realizing that he's a genius. As we cut to our next scene with Ow, Ow, a Dr Jeffrey, Jurassic, Ow. Jurassic you Park. Yes, you I've always wanted All right, to Hey, look, it's awesome <laughs> twins and Jake and Lloyd running after each, each other. Friends, <laughs> even though your husband fired my husband. I don't know. I'm still wondering how we go to the bathroom in this crazy world. So Bam Bam destroys a bunch of priceless crystals that bankrupts the Rubbles, which means now they have to live with the Flintstones in order to get by. Flintstones and Rubbles under one roof. Yeah, but Fred, you know, it's only temporary. It better be. <laughs> I'm talking about drawing a line in the sand, dude. Across this line, you do not. <laughs> hey, Barney, you like to stay rare? That one's yours. Hey! Hey, stop! Come here, you fucking Hey, Barney! Don't forget to wash that off before you eat it. Yeah, no, that shit. Let's get to another Halle Berry sex scene. <laughs> oh, Oh, gee. Well, oh, gee. Oh, that'll be all, Miss Stone. I'll sign okay, I'm glad that Wilma interrupted it. Oh, I don't know about that. Your secretary is very attractive. Really? I hadn't noticed. I've come to talk about the Rubble's troubles. It's gotten so bad they've... Well, look at that. Another scene that didn't seem to go anywhere. He flirts with Halle Berry, and it doesn't affect the plot at all. And, wouldn't you know it, this scene also happens to be about two minutes long. That seems to be the pattern of this movie. Start a scene, have it go nowhere, and then disappear after two minutes. That's all this movie is. Just a collection of unfunny two-minute scenes, one after another. Seriously, Holly Berry should just come out in the middle of the scene and be like, Guys, I'm really sorry. I know this movie is hard to sit through, but, um, <laughs> here. What? Did that help? I hope that helped. That's all I got. Look, just bear with it. There's only an hour left. It'll be over soon. But Barry is concerned because Flintstone is starting to question the choices that Cliff is making. I'm worried. He's smarter than we thought. <laughs> He's been asking a lot of questions. You mean the guy who actually tested the smartest is actually asking smart questions? <laughs> what a scene that coming. <laughs> but Cliff throws more money at him as this, of course, turns Fred into a greedy, self-centered jerk. Of kind course. Of, like the producers of, of course it does. Fred, did you hear what happened to everyone at the quarry today? Yep. He fired them. I didn't do that. You did too. It's all over the TV. Fred! Wilma, who are you gonna believe? Me or some busboy? He's just jealous of my hard earned success. Wow, uh -huh. that's hole. <laughs> so after Barney and Betty decide to leave, Wilma decides she's pretty angry at Fred too. Hold it. Is that the Christmas story lamp? <laughs> I don't get it. No, me, ne me neither. I do. I don't need this necklace. You know, I don't need this lamp. <laughs> and I don't need this television set. Not the TV. Oh no! We didn't figure out a funny way to explain how that thing has electricity yeah. to make it function yet! Yeah. Once around the block, you'll realize the How the did that spark electricity with electricity when you would make it during the time? Both you! And then one day, you're in! So after gasp, another two minutes scene. I don't know how they messed up with that. Cliff has framed him for embezzling money. Yeah, because when I think of the story of the Flintstones, I think of embezzlement plots. But Wilma has an idea as she suddenly loves him again, I guess. As she gives the bird to tell everybody the truth. You are the only one who can help clear my husband. My, my, what a delicious irony. And I will play your father in the sequel. I will play, I will play your father in the prequel. Out that he's very insulting. So an angry mob finds Flintstone and tries to hang both him and Barney. After Barney confesses that a lot of this was his fault too. I want you to know that if I had to have someone hanging next to me, I'm glad it's you. I guess switching that test didn't turn out much like I planned, huh, Fred? Story of my life. Oh, uh, anyone know why we're not <laughs> hanging the <them yet? laughs> I don't know. Something about character development. In this movie? That's a load. But Wilma and Betty come just in time as they have the bird tell everybody what happened. Unfortunately, Cliff finds out and decides to kidnap Pebbles and Bam Bam unless he gets the bird back. First, we want our children. Of course. 
What? 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 Why did she scream? He said, oh, he pointed to her, and then they were like, oh, yeah, you scream now. They never could have allowed this sort of thing. So he says, of course, and she's like, ah. How's that making sense? Now, wait a minute. We've seen Bam Bam lift heavy furniture, smash through a stone wall, and yet he can't break through a simple rope. Is rough like his kryptonite? <laughs> Is he allergic to him? <laughs> Science and why we cut on him? Don't bring all the You did it! You called me Thunder! Die, guess yeah. that was luck, right? We didn't explain very well! Yeah. So Barney saves the kids as Flintstone has the final showdown with Clifford. Oh, mama. <laughs> Halle Berry's else, Mr. Halle Berry's oh, the savior. Yeah. As well as your top. No, no, no. It's just <laughs> for swordfish. Halle Berry so saves everyone. The machine has a whole bunch of yeah. new material called concrete. Covers Cliff bearing him alive. Of course, the cops finally arrive just as everything wraps up and the CEO looks over the destruction. How did this happen to Cliff? Mr. Slade, I'm sorry. Sorry? I love this stuff. You're a genius. You are hereby promoted to president of the entire concrete division. You're obviously a murderer. Yeah. yeah. That's a thing yeah. like hiring psycho too. Yeah. So the Flintstones get done watching the movie about themselves, <laughs> which was apparently called Tar Wars, as they reenact even more scenes, which just constantly reminds me of why the cartoon wasn't funny. <laughs> Saying Bedrock was a real place, huh? Just like all great films, constantly blurring the lines of reality. And constantly failing at this movie sucks, this movie sucks, this movie sucks! I mean, I suppose if you have little kids, they might like it, but dude, that's a lot of money to toss into a bunch of throwaway puns. To give credit, though, you can't really blame Hannah Barbera for it. I mean, if some executive came up to you and said, Hey, we know you made the Flintstones on only five bucks and three pieces of paper. Now we want to throw millions of dollars at it. Would you say, though? Probably not. But look on the bright side. At least we know they never make the same mistake again. Fuck Hollywood. I'm a nostalgia critic, guy, remember? So you don't have to.